Hi, it's me again with Laser Tips and Tricks. And this was a really neat file that somebody posted on Facebook. And it comes out really good. And I've started giving it at funerals in lieu of this amazing grace. Well, I still do it too. But um, this file is posted on Facebook page. If you have trouble uh, finding it, uh, let me know. It's Epilogue fan page. But this is two different versions of engraving. The face needs to be run at 400 dots per inch at 70 speed. And then I've added names to the for memorial. And they're run at 600 dots per inch at 50 speed. So it'll go real deep. So what I do here, I put it in the laser. And I tape the wood down so it will not move. And I engrave the wording. And, and cut it out. I use a, a piece of blue tape to grab it out of the fixture so it won't move the fixture. And then I put it back in and I just engrave the face because you can't sand this and it doesn't need to be sanded. This needs to be sanded and the edges need to be sanded. So if you take it off and, and sand the, or take it out and sand the bottom, and get the flashback done. So how I do that, I've got it in the corner of the laser bed, and I'm going to grab the face. Let's see if we don't have it grouped together. I grab the face, and let's see what my nudge factor is. It's set on five inches. And I, well, we can do this. Grab the face and move it out of the way five inches. Grab the cross back and put it back up. Then I'm going to cut a combination job on this, and I'm going to engrave it, and I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to take it out like I just said, and then I'm going to grab the text and get it out of the way, and I'm going to nudge the face right back where it was, and then I'm going to run this at 40 dots per inch at 70 speed, and it's done, and that's what it looks like. When it's done, it needs no sanding. Uh, you wouldn't want to sand it because you would sand, sand away some of the detail of the Jesus face. So that's how I do it. And I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.